welcome back to our repair guys thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel in today's video guys we're going to explain what a radiator fan resistor is what it does what are the symptoms of a bad fan a radiator fan resistor as well guys so let me show you now uh, we have that dodge here guys but it doesn't matter what vehicle you have okay the procedure is about the same that radiator fan resistor usually is attached close to the radiator fan somewhere so always do that when the car is extremely cold and i would recommend to disconnect the car battery because that fan can turn on at any time and you don't want that to happen and cut your fingers off so ours okay it's in this hole right here okay it just goes inside there and uh what that radiator fan resistor does so usually the fan guys is controlled by the resistor and by the coolant temperature sensor the coolant temperature sensor usually is on uh, the engine somewhere okay like in our case okay right here this is coolant uh, temperature sensor and when the coolant reaches certain temperature it's going to tell the radiator fan to turn on however now if you're using your air conditioner in the summer the condenser on the front will get hot that hot air will go through the radiator and it's going to hit the resistor and it will tell the fan okay the radiators are hot even the engine is not hot the radiators are hot we need to turn the fan on so it's going to go ahead and turn the fan on depending okay depending on the temperature that uh, it reads okay this is the resistor right here it's going to turn the fan on higher or lower speed depending if it's higher temperature it will be higher speed so what are the symptoms of a bad uh, uh, of a bad uh, fan resistor guys now one thing your fan speed doesn't doesn't change okay it turns it on but maybe just on low or on super high and it's super noisy that's one thing second thing guys okay uh, it could be that it doesn't turn the fan at all which could be catastrophic because uh, let me tell you now summertime okay what will happen if it doesn't turn on uh, the car will get really hot to the okay to the point that the engine will read that the coolant is too hot in the cylinder head and it's going to turn the fan on uh, but if uh, you're stuck in traffic or anything like that and it's really really hot with the AC on okay and that thing didn't start functioning as soon as it should have your car might overheat so that's the fan resistor guys now it's not very complicated thing to replace those usually there is one on two screws something like that and they're not very expensive you can check out in the description of the video below we'll share guys where we purchase ours from ours okay it just goes all the way like that and we just slide it up so that's where it stays that's where the radiator fan resistor is so that's what it does the symptoms pretty simple guys uh, there is a way to test them actually and we'll have the video on the channel how to test one if you want to but if you're in doubt i recommend to go ahead and replace them so hopefully guys the video will save you some money some headache as well thank you for watching and see you guys next time